Welcome back to Next Content. In this video, I'm going to show you a super simple trick to install Windows 11 on unsupported computer. Even if your PC lacks TPM 2.0 or has an older CPU, we'll grab the Windows 11 ISO, tweak the installer, and bypass those annoying hardware checks. Open your web browser. In the address bar, type Windows 11 ISO and hit enter. Now, select the first link that appears in the search results to load the page. Click the drop-down menu under Select Download and choose Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO. Next, you need to select your product language. I'm in the United States, so I'll pick English, United States. Click Confirm. A new button will appear for the 64-bit download. Go ahead and left-click that download button to start downloading the ISO file. Once the download is complete, head to your downloads folder to find the Windows 11 ISO file. Right-click on the ISO file and select Mount from the context menu. This will create a virtual drive on your computer. A file explorer window might pop up automatically, showing the contents of the ISO. If it doesn't, open File Explorer and look for the new drive under this PC. Now, this is super important. Click the Start button, then type CMD into the search bar. When Command Prompt appears in the results, type your drive followed by a colon. For me, it's E colon, so I'll type that and hit enter. Your prompt should now show your drive letter, like e backslash. Ready for the command that makes this all possible? Here we go. Type the following exactly as I say, and be careful with the spaces. Type setup.exe space slash product space server space slash compat space ignore warning space slash migrate drivers space ALL. Double check that you typed it correctly then hit enter. you see a setup window pop up, and it might say installing Windows Server. Click next to start the setup process. Check the box to accept them, then click next. The setup will ask what you want to keep. I recommend selecting keep file settings and apps to make this an in-place upgrade, so you don't lose your data settings or programs. Your PC should now be running Windows 11, even though Microsoft said it couldn't. Check your system settings to confirm you're on Windows 11, version 24H2, or later. Pretty cool, right? This trick has saved so many older PCs from being tossed out, and I'm stoked to share it with you. If this tutorial helped you breathe new life into your old computer, please hit that subscribe button.